the miraculous, and the rue morgue has guilty of four murders so far this week, and by now perhaps the fifth.
said, the girl will get you around dead bodies. <laughs> Good evening, Goblins, Goblins and, and Ghouls, and, and welcome to the Friday Night, Night Scream Stream. I'm your host, Spade and Stein, joined as always by my very good friend, Mr. Evan Sink. How are you, uh, Evan? Oh, you, hey. seem, you seem bummed out, my friend. Yeah, yeah. What's up, man? Well, you know, it's been one of those weeks, mm-hmm. I think. Mm-hmm. I think we all... We all got a little bit of bad news this week. I think in a way everybody did, didn't they? Yeah, it's, yeah. You know, you know sad, sad um, you know, certainly with, with, with the news yesterday, uh, I'm assuming is what you're uh, referring to, uh, the um, sad, sad news that I uh, poured in. We can't go on with the show without acknowledging it. It would be um, imprudent of us. Right, yeah, and I, I think... Just to be sure that we're on the same page, what news? Thank you, Sweet Fee. Um, so, uh, yes, uh, if, if you've been living in a bubble... Under a rock. If, if you've been living under a rock for, you know, the past 24 hours, then you probably haven't heard that Queen Elizabeth has died. Oh, that, wait, that's not what I was talking about. Oh, Really? That's, That's not what you're talking, talking about? about? No, no. My my bad news. Any change, sweet feet? Um. It, well, it's kind of related, I guess. I'm I'm really bummed out because, you know, I, I've been under the impression that I was next, and uh, they kind of skipped over me. I don't know. What wires got crossed? Um, I don't know who to blame. The media. Could be the media. Could certainly. I, I could see that. Um, wow. Okay, no, I, did, I didn't even know that. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, Buckingham is not returning my calls. I don't know what to do. You know, I, I thought, give him a, give, give him a day. You know, maybe I'll hear back, but... I don't know what to do. Uh, you know, um, I, think I think you have, have to be patient. patient. I think that's um, that's that's. I the, don't know if we need a recount or something. Well, well once, once you start, start taking it into that ter- territory, territory, then th- it's, it's serious. serious. Things are serious. Um, God damn it! I I don't know, man. I don't know. I think it's my mic. I don't know what's been going on. I'm gonna play around with it. I'm gonna play around with it. But Evan, you know, it's. Just, I mean, this, you know. It's, uh, I feel you, bro. I, I, it's sad. Sad. It's just, I, look, I called dibs, and does that mean nothing nowadays? Uh, I really don't think it does. Not anymore. I think people have kind of given up on. So, well, I, I don't want to hold us up with my bad news. No, that's fine. I was going to let you take your time. I mean, I I, I want to I want to figure out what's going on with this. I don't want to agonize I gotta get over rid this of these for too long. Gremlins, man, and I don't know. It's 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 been it's been an issue. It's been an ongoing issue. So, I don't know. Let's let's try that. Let's let's see. 
I don't know. We'll, we'll see, see if, if, if I've, I've changed, changed anything, anything. If, if it goes away, if not, uh, who knows? Um, maybe I made it worse. Um, but I'm just going to keep hitting buttons until the magic thing happens. Uh, tends to tends to be what works. So thank you, everybody, for joining us tonight, uh, bringing another nice uh, old dark house public domain horror movie into your homes this evening you know last week we watched the bat which was a 19 late 1950s movie and you know we, we learned a little bit about the old dark house movie genre and you know kind of a broad history of it because that movie that we watched last week started as a play so this week, uh, we're, we're getting an older example of the old Dark House genre, uh, and it's also combined with a little bit of uh, Apecore, which, if, if you are new to the show, Apecore is the term that we coined when we watched, uh, well, it's probably like our third, second or third ape-themed film of the, of the stream, and... Uh, I don't know. Maybe you was it Horror Express, Express or was it? It was Horror Express. Express. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know if you. I think you coined the term. And um, I have I have adopted it quickly. Uh, I love it. I love that term. And this is our first Ape Core movie of the season, uh, which is why we had that uh, trailer for the gorilla. And uh, are you implying Warrior. that there's going to be more later in the season? Yes, yes the, the gorilla, gorilla is gonna. Uh -oh. Wait, wait what? what? Wait what? What? Wait, what'd you say? I said uh oh. Wait, wait uh oh to what? More gorilla movies. Yeah, yeah we, we yes. I, I mean, mean I, I, it's our, our first, first because we, we do. do. We, we do, do have, have another, another one coming. coming. Um, the, the trailer, trailer that we just saw leading into the intro of the gorilla. Uh, I'll go ahead and spoil it now. That's our season finale for this this season, season four. And uh, wait, three. Sorry. But I'm ahead of myself. Season three. Um, the Gorilla is going to be our finale film because it's got Lugosi in it. Uh, but it's the themes are kind of similar to tonight's film. It's Old Dark House. There's uh, an ape running around. There's murders going on. So Storm, Stormy Night. All kinds of fun tropes that, uh, you know, you got to... Does this one have a girl with knives? Uh, we'll see. Uh, yes. See, that's not a no. Spider Baby was definitely late stage Old Dark House. Yeah, we've really dug into the Old Dark House movie this season. I guess I didn't really realize how much we have, but kind of between, yeah, I got Spider Baby and the Bat, and now this. This is um, this is an interesting example. Uh, it doesn't have anybody famous in it. The director did a couple other notable pre-code horror movies, which uh. We'll, we'll get, get to, to watch, watch on this show, um, but it's it's it's, it's interesting. interesting. It's unique, and it came out in 1932, which was a big year for horror movies. So this will be fun to get into. I've got some fun facts. It's it's I'm I'm excited to to dig into it, and it's you know you gotta love these indie pre-code horror movies. Hopefully get a little scandalous, but we'll see. Uh -oh. We'll see. I can't make any promises. What is this rated? Uh, Are these movies rated? No, not really now, I don't think. I don't think, you know, but if, if IMDb can be trusted, I think I read that this, like, it was it was, it was refused a rating in the UK upon its release, and now it's got, like, a... Like a PG rating or something. I have no clue. <laughs> Not that this <laughs> needs a rating, but um, you know, I don't really. We got a tame movie coming up. Yeah, yeah I, can't I can't say. say I can't say, say that I'm a hundred percent like that. I remember everything that happens in this. So, uh, but we'll, we'll get into that. Um, as you know, uh, lawyer loyal viewers know. Every week, Evan brings us a cocktail to pair. With the evening's film in a little segment which we call... What were you drinking? What were you drinking? Tonight we are drinking the Monkey's Paw. So we've got uh, the, the first of many Apecore movies of this season. 
if I uh, am understanding correctly. Yes, yes you are understanding so, correctly. So you're going to have to be digging for a lot of drinks. That it, so, that yeah, so I, I, I hope you like banana liqueur. Oh, I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure all banana. of them will have that. Well, what is it that we had in the first season with the ape man, the, the dirty banana, right? That was, yeah, that was delicious. That was a great uh, banana flavor. It was good. This one, I don't know if this one's going to be quite as good as that one. So the dirty, or sorry, the monkey's paw is made with white rum, cognac, lemon juice, banana liqueur, and honey syrup. So it's a variety of liquors and some honey. So this might just taste like medicine. <laughs> But it we're could. Gonna, we're gonna find out. Ooh, right. Okay. Yeah. This a uh, this is a sipper. Huh? Yeah. It's, it's a it's a small small drink. It's a can uh can't chug this down. Ooh, it smells good. I like the smell. Well, let's give it a shot. All right. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, I took a small, small sip. Yeah, yeah. And that's it's very nice. nice. Very it's, good. It is very nice. Uh, it's ki- it it kind of reminds me of a Ricola. It's definitely a sipper. <laughs> you don't take like a you don't gulp this down. That's for sure. Like small sips. It's but yeah, if you take a big sip, it's definitely like you might as well be drinking cough medicine. I think. Yeah. So if um, if maybe you have a sore throat, this may be the, maybe the perfect thing. Maybe just what the doctor ordered. Who knows? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. If you take if you take a big enough sip, that's strong. There's a lot of flavors in that. There are the banana is like the first thing. I mean, it's almost the smell that hits you first, and then there's a lot going on. The the honey it doesn't taste that much like honey but it, it helps it softens a lot yes it does it helps it all it kind of brings the, it all the spoonful together. of Unifi- sugar yes exactly <laughs> and you can kind of see like like if you kind of swirl it around you can it almost see like a like a thickness when it when it swirls against the glass it's, yeah it, 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 it's a it's a viscous drink viscous drink we're just over here drinking a whole bunch of snot uh, no, it's actually, actually really, really good. good. Yeah. I, I do. I I, 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 I do like, like this one, one a lot, actually. Yeah, but you yeah, know, with with a name, name like Monkey's Paw, paw I'm a little paw. worried mm. that there might be some kind of cruel and ironic twist. To this drink. Yeah, yeah. Mm, I could see that. Yeah. That so, uh, if, if anybody at home is uh, following along, watch your back. Yeah, because there may be some. Some, some some bad voodoo in this one. There may be something lurking in the shadows. Um, so certainly be peeking over your corner from time to time. Um, we'll do we'll all do a corner check together. Uh, you know, everybody will will take a second. We'll uh, you know look over our shoulders, peek around corners, make sure the coast is clear. Just be thinking about uh, ironic things. Right. Avoid anything ironic. Yes, anything that it's like oh. Like, like if you, you if you, you start, start chuckling, chuckling yourself, yourself slowly <laughs> move in an unpredictable <laughs> direction, but don't, don't just back up because you're liable to wind right in the clutches of whatever beast is waiting or, or you know behind your back. So, so be careful what you wish for. Definitely, definitely be careful. Be careful. Um, there, there are monsters are lurking in the dark. dark. Um, yes. No. No, we'll, we'll, we'll try, try not to scare you too much. much. Um, and hopefully this movie isn't too scary. Um, but yeah, yeah this drink is a, it's a good drink to pair with it. It'll, it'll go nice and smooth. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. Um, it really tastes like a cough drop. Like, I like it. But <laughs> Do you really think it tastes like a, like a cough drop? To me, it tastes like a lemon Ricola. With maybe some banana. It's just like, like a, a to me it's just like, like a really sweet like I don't know. It's, it's almost, almost like, like I'm getting hints, hints of is there, there like some, some kind of apple? apple? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't, I don't it's kind of weird. There's like a 
It's not like, like apple, apple juice, juice, but there's, there's just, just something. something. If you if you take small enough sips, it's. Do you think it, do you think it's the honey? It could be. It's just it's pleasant. It's, it's really, really I like, I like it. it. But well, yeah, yeah, it's. I can, I can see where you you're, you're coming from with with the with, with the cough drop, drop assessment, but pretty good. Yeah, pretty, pretty good, good work, work, I think. So we're, we're going to enjoy, enjoy this, this monkey's, monkey's paw, paw with, with the monster, monster walks, walks, which just, just to go ahead and clear up any confusion up front. Up again, again, yeah, yeah tonight's, tonight's film is Abe Core, but, but despite, despite the posters, posters for this film or, or the thumbnail, thumbnail for this, it is it's not, not the, the monster, monster, the chimpanzee, or the titular, titular ape, ape is not a gorilla. A gorilla. Uh, uh, it's, it's a chimpanzee. chimpanzee. So, so um, you know, I just want to go ahead. Well, those and can be scary to too. They can. I mean, that's the if whole anyone's thing. seen Nope. Well, oh, yeah, yeah, Jesus. If you if you've seen Nope, nope then you know that a chimp gym. can be scary. Uh, thank, thank you, Jordan Peele. Really, really. Really, really appreciate you, uh, you, uh, you know, just uh, uh, livening everybody, everybody up to the reality of, of hiring a, a trained, trained chimp to act in a, <laughs> in a production. Seems, seems like, like a, a really, really good, good idea, idea, right? Which, Which again, again, in the in movie, movie, it's CG. Well, is that spoiling it to go, go ahead and tell you you haven't seen well, it? That, that, that they, they don't use a live chimp. They don't use a live chimp. I don't think that's a spoiler. That's a spoiler, right? I mean... It's it's CGI, you know. It's, if if anybody's disappointed by that, um, I mean, I guess if that's a spoiler, it's the whole team, point of the movie, right? Like, if they used a real chimp, then you mean they didn't use a real monster in that movie? <laughs> you telling me they didn't go up into the clouds? And, uh, no, can't, and I can't say any more. Because then we will be spoiling, will be spoiling it. it. Go see no. If you, you haven't, haven't seen, seen it, it. It's, it's, it's probably it's still a good in movie. Yeah. You can still go check it out. It's fun. I enjoyed it. Um, yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Not uh, nope. Yeah. Yes. Yes, and. Yes, and. Uh, we're about to get into tonight's film, The Monster Walks, I do believe. Um, again. Eight core old dark house movies, kind of some murder mystery elements. Um, like I said, chimpanzee, not a gorilla, so we won't see anybody in a cheesy. I mean, I don't know. I've only seen this movie recently, like within the past year. This was not one that I like grew up having on DVD or knowing about. So they use CGI in this one too, right? Oh yeah, oh for sure, yeah. Uh, well, we'll see. I don't even know. Again, when I have watched it, I, I think I've, I'm watching it late at night. So I usually just end up falling asleep. So I don't really, I don't know that I've ever even seen <laughs> so who knows how this movie a chimpanzee ends. where the chimpanzee even shows up at. So it's all, it'll be a surprise to me, but, um, what I have seen scene in this movie it seems fun it seems you know again i just never knew it was a thing and it, again it was made in 1932 which i just kind of realized today was a year big year for horror movies which i'll talk a little bit about more about as the show goes on but um yeah i think uh i think any anything before we get into it evan let's say we go all right well then without further ado we're gonna get into the monster walks. I don't know if uh, if Sweet Feeder has sync out there. If uh, my mic has gotten any better. If it's still echoing or what's up. new mic i'm just gonna have to do it have to, i think i think that's the problem so no big names in here statement oh uh, yeah so we'll we'll talk about that okay. uh, which is the character which is the actor 
So on the left, it's the character, and on the right, it's the actor. Okay. Sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Disappointing corpse. Really disappointing. His death was very sudden, Mrs. Krug. Yes, sir. He was alive last night when I brought him his supper. This morning, Hans found his body. Your son? Yes, sir. <laughs> she sounds like the, the doctor off of Frankenstein. <laughs> monstrous does monster sound Frankenstein. Like that. <laughs> I didn't become a doctor to play God. Just the most... Yeah, monotone. Like, monotone, blasé reading. A lot of these... Oh. Whoa. It's Yogi, Mr. Erlton's ace. But I thought he had disposed of him. No, sir. Do you mean to say that that animal is in this house? Yes, sir. Oh. Mr. Robert had Hans lock him in his cage in the cellar. <laughs> Chill, shiver ran down his spine. My favorite part is being able to hear the the lightning machine in the background. Everything <laughs> secure. <laughs> the cage is strong enough. I put a chain across the door. But what makes him scream so? That's because of the corpse in the house. He remembers his dead master. Woo! Too, too big. You have my deepest sympathy, Robert. Thanks. So you said this was 1932? 1932, yep. It seems so, unbelievable that it could have happened so quickly. Like, just for context, like, what else was coming out in the 30s? So, this was the year after Dracula and Frankenstein hit the scene. And so, the floodgates opened Could medical science do nothing for you? No, nothing can ever bring power to these This movie ends up kind of like a lot of different themes that the other movies were doing. He is securely locked in his cage. Would you care to see him? Why, uh, yes, if it is not too much trouble. And <laughs> you want to check out the ape in the cellar? Sure, yeah, I'd love to. to see Yogi. Yeah, that sounds yes. dope. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm going to follow the big goonish guy down to the cellar. <laughs> Show me the ape. I'm sure nothing bad's going to happen. It's real. Yeah, they got a real chimpanzee. As far as we can tell. <laughs> Dude, That's I really, really can see That's really good it. CGI, bro. That's <laughs> the best CGI I've seen in 1932. You've got the shadow right. There was a mate to this one, but it died in one of Dr. Elton's experiments. What was what? the nature of that experiment? I don't know. But he was the doctor's favorite. Yogi had the run of the house. He knew every nook and corner. The <laughs> run of the house. What He's walking around like he owned the place. Miss Ruth was afraid of him. But that's because he was always jealous of her. So that is why she went away. <laughs> I suppose she had other reasons for wanting to get away from this dreary old place. <laughs> and she's coming back here tonight. If she does, he'll know. They'll never forget their hatred. Bum, bum, bum. Tick and Tom Bomb to go off. 
You know what they say, a chimpanzee never forgets. <laughs> He's just waiting to chew her face off. He's dying to eat her room, face. Room ready? Yes, sir. Light a fire there, it's growing cold. Make a room as cheerful as possible. It's yes, growing sir. cold. <laughs> Make the room cheerful. We need more fire, please. You know what always cheers me up? A big fire. Giant fire in the center of my house. Excuse me, sir. Look down the road and see if you see any signs of Miss Ruth. So it's a mother and son that are basically the caretakers here in this house. The Croods. <laughs> the Croods. Not the, the Croods. The yeah, Croods. I've seen that. <laughs> K-R-U-G. It's also the name of the main antagonist in Last House on the Left. Did you not consider uh, that, Robert? I don't you know if it's actually connected, but house? Krug is just a bit of name, I guess. I was thinking of my own condition, but I think she would have gone to see her father anyway. Storm is increasing. I'm afraid I shall have to impose on your hospitality. You gotta love that. You don't have to see here. it. Somebody just has to go peek out the curtains. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Storm's course, really bad course. out there, huh? <laughs> Mrs. Krug. Mrs. Krug? Mrs. Krug. Krug, 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 Krug. Prepare a room for Mr. Will. The guest room is ready, sir. No. No, no, I think Mr. Wilkes would be more comfortable in the other wing of the house, away from our family sorrow. Well, anywhere will do, Mrs. Coon. <laughs> He's secluded in the West Wing. <laughs> Mr. Lebowski is secluded in the on the West road, Wing. Hon? Can't see a thing. Maybe it's the East Wing. I can't remember. I love that movie, though. It's been a while since I've seen it. <laughs> There's someone coming now. How do you know? You always act like that when there's somebody arriving that you know. <laughs> Could it be Ruth? I wonder. I wonder. I love that giant moose head back on the wall over there. <laughs> you know, I think, um, would Ape in the Basement have been a better title for this movie? Ape in the Basement. That would have been pretty good. Basement Ape. The director of this, Frank R. Strayer, the same year as this, made a movie called Gorilla Ship. But there's no gorilla. There's no. It's not a horror movie. It's like the character's name. The nickname is Gorilla. I was like, that would have been a great movie. Like yeah. a gorilla on a ship. Well, not to. Not to. Spoil there, there, my child. Be brave, dear. Be brave. <laughs> if I could only have, only have been here and talked with him. Don't see him once again. Let me take his place in your heart, now that you're more than ever alone. Oh, I loved him so much. I should never have gone away. <laughs> Did you see those black circles on the screen? Yeah. So that's like indicating to the projectionist that the real it's the real needs to be changed. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. Happy to know you, sir. You have my deepest sympathy. Thank you, Mr. Will. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I've seen that before. Um, I never knew that. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, it's, What's that? There's, there's always two. two. That's there's Yogi. one, and then right what after the second one is when he the real changes. Him. So a lot of times they'll cut His to a new scene. His master is dead. Or, Where? You know, in there? It's something different. Well, well you, 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 you told the bags in there. I've got to fix on this generator and the spark plug. Yeah. Ted, will you wait? Certainly, dear. You gotta, you gotta enjoy me the love interest, you know, coming to your your fiance's big like Make your ancestral mansion. That is little I can say. And then you find out there's all this baggage. I, I understand. I didn't realize, I was I you my I didn't realize there was gonna be an ape in the basement. You, my you were acquainted with his work. Would have been a better time. Yes. I suppose that was an ape's cry that startled Ruth. But there is no cause for alarm. I have him secured beyond possible means of escape. Mr. Wilkes inspected him. Oh, yes, sir. He's in a cage. But he's such a powerful animal. I would not have wanted to be closer. I mean, I guess they're keeping the window open, so they're not, no, not worried about the stench. <laughs> Been, he's been dead since they found him in the morning. Now it's the evening. It can't be. It can't be a good smell in there. Oh, Daddy. I'm afraid. I, I don't know what it is, but something terrifies me. Nothing will harm you, dear. Auntie Krug will put you to bed in your own little room, just like when you were a little girl. Very sudden. <laughs> Come along with Tante, dear. Yes, very sudden. Wink. Hello, Matt. Hello, Miss Ruth. Glad to see you. The luggage, where shall I put it? Put it in our old room. Your Uncle Robert arranged it that way. I'll fix your things for you. Thank you, Tante. Let's gossip about everybody. <laughs> Not if he is dead, it should be known. Don't be a fool. We may be turned out. But it is our right. Haven't we been still long enough? No. Wait until the will is read. We may be rich. <laughs> She's like, come on, just wait a little bit longer. Don't blow this for us, bro. Of your father's will should be a family matter. I'd better go to the inn. Please stay. I want you here tonight. Dear, you're nervous. Please. Are you just gonna leave her there with that wild chimp in the basement? Oh, I should be fine. Be in the car. That's, <laughs> That's why he's leaving. I'm not Still staying in this damn mind. house. Are you leaving, Doctor? No, Uncle. He's going to see about putting the car up. You'll be more comfortable here than at the inn. Well, certainly, Doctor. We can consider you one of the family. So, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, thanks. I'm still going to the inn. Yes, I got. I had no bad situation when I see what I can. Okay. All right, Miss Ruth. Thank you, dear. I'll only be a minute. Tandy, will you prepare the guest room? Yes, I will, dear. Steps. <laughs> so 
this is the guy who was credited as Sleepy. Just about sleep. Get the bag down the car. His name's actually Will, Willie Best. Will? Isn't that what I'm called, Ben? You know, his character name you know, is Don Exodus. Clayton, I think I'll go yes. for a walk. Go to a movie or uh, uh, play some Pee Wee Golf. Nonsense. You can't walk to the village in this storm. It's 11 miles. That's just a pleasant walk. I just love to take off my shoes and play in the raindrop. I skip part of the way too. <laughs> Did you hear that? Get the bags out of the car. Hands will take care of it. He ended up getting, you know, having to play a lot of domestic servant roles and a lot of, you know, played played them in kind of stereotypical ways and. You know, like a lot of other yeah, actors at the sure time, like Mantan Moreland, who yeah, we talked about when we saw Spider Baby, kind of got, yeah. well, you know, sorry, career kind of got derided later on. All right, so um, with me. But, Thank you, know, but I prefer to go to my room. Kind of Will you still Dr. Clayton to your room, Tommy? The representation of the mainstream films the other wing was Mr. So it's, but Miss Ruth said Dr. Clayton was to occupy the guest room. A product of his time, unfortunately. Of the doctor's comfort. For better yeah. Or worse. From doctor. In this case, for worse. I'll come back when you're through. Is it necessary for uh, Mrs. Krug to be present? Why, yes. She is mentioned in the will. She's like, yeah, bro, of course I'm present. I'm about to get me a present. Come with me and I'll show you where you can sleep. <laughs> where the dead man at? On the second floor. Well, I'll sleep in the cellar then. <laughs> That's where Yogi is. You mean that man at the house, though? Well, you give me an umbrella and I'll go up on the roof. Come on. <laughs> In the name of God, I, Philip Elton, being of sound mind and memory and not acting under duress, menace, fraud, or undue influence of any person whatever, do make, publish, and direct, declare this my last will and testament. Oh, man, you gotta spice up these will readings, man. Oh, <laughs> everybody's, like, clearly waiting to hear what they got. I mean, let's loosen up. Come on. Let's have a little fun with it. National Bank, which consists of house and lot and furnishings and personal effects pertaining to house and grounds to my only daughter, Ruth. Oh, did you see that bear rug in the other room? Yes, I did notice that earlier. We should, yeah, holy shit. Um, I, I've, I've never really thought about it before, but it's such a tripping hazard. I would be falling over that thing every day. I hope nobody trips over it. In loving memory, I hereby provide that he be sheltered and suitably provided for in our family home until his death. This home to be maintained until such time. To my faithful servant, Emma Krog, I hereby bequeath the sum of $50 monthly to be paid out of my estate. Great. This sum to continue without precaution uh. until her death. I hereby appoint William Wilkes as executor of my will to act without bond. Witness my hand hey, this the 22nd day of April. $50? A month, though. Philip Probably not Elton. that much. Probably not that much. I'm very grateful to your father, Miss Rose. Someone in the chat, do the math. Do the Philip. math. Get, get the inflation count out here. Let's, let's I'm very happy. My wishes are realized in spending the remaining years. Have they finished? Yes, sir. Thank you. I don't know why there's that jump cut there. I don't know if something got cut out or if it's just the... I don't know what that is. But that is going to take us to our first break. So, obviously, classic old dark house trope of uh, this intrigue at the will reading. You know, all the family has gathered on a dark and stormy night. 
dead bodies upstairs, crazy chimps down in the, in the cellar. That's new. I that don't think I've that's seen that's... one um, like that. You're right. That is the kind of the interesting thing here is that it is taking these tropes uh, and combining them, which is, again, it's kind of new for the time because the year before, 1931, you had Frankenstein, you had Dracula. So that kind of really set the tone for what a horror movie in the sound era could be. And so then the next year, 1932, it's like, all right, well, how do we top it? How do we match it? And the old dark house kind of thing, again, like it had been done on in, in plays and movies throughout the 20s, which Had we talked about. Had there been chimp huh? films? Any chimp films up at this point? Not necessarily chimps per se. Um, the, the same year that this came out, uh, Universal released Murders in the Rue Morgue, which was the first trailer that we showed this evening. And I think that's a chimpanzee in that movie. There's a, there's a killer ape, and I think it's a chimpanzee. Um... And that really is the only kind of like killer ape precedent that I could find before. Or, well, it's the same year. It's 1932. And this is, again, this is one year before King Kong. And so King Kong is, you know, giant killer ape, but still killer ape. Um, and then you, you know, you get movies like The Gorilla, which we showed a trailer for. And. Uh, the ape and the ape man and all these movies that came in the 40s but it kind of between murders in the room morgue and this it's kind of these are like the earliest examples of ape core uh so it's i mean there's some other ones but those are the two right off the top of my dome um and so it's interesting because, again, 1932, everybody's figuring out what a horror movie can actually be. You yeah, know? Where, does it, where is that coming from, though? Why, why apes? Is it, is it coming out of the circus, maybe? I think there's definitely that. Because I, I don't really see it coming from the stage. Well, I mean, I don't know that many plays, but... There's, there's something about... Um, there's something about like the ape as like a a trope in the early 20th century. I don't know enough about it, but I just know that there's this imagery of kind of uh, like again, uh, it's 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 getting close to fall. And uh, if anybody out there is a fan of the show Over the Garden Wall. Uh, it's it's a cartoon show and a lot of the animation style is inspired by kind of folk you know folk drawings kind of old school like drawings and literature and stories out of the early 20th century and they do this whole kind of parody where there's this ape on the loose terrorizing people right and it looks kind of like it's it, there's there's something that it looks like if you, if you saw, saw the trailer, the trailer for Murders of the, of the Room Morgue, there's, there's like this, this cartoonish, cartoonish picture, cartoonish, cartoonish renderings of an ape. There's, there's similar imagery in that. And so I don't know, again, I don't really know where it comes from, but it's there's something, I don't know if there's like melodrama stories or again, like you said, the circus, but it's it was just for some reason it was a trope. Um, yeah, was someone in the chat, help us out. What, um, I want to say, what's, what play, maybe an opera? Is, uh, and again, the gorilla, that trailer that we that we showed, the other trailer we showed, that was actually a play that came out in the 20s. And it was kind of a parody of the bat, which we talked about last week. But it deals with a gorilla, a character who is it's the gorilla instead of the bat. But there's also like a real gorilla on the loose. So it's, it's a whole thing. Um, we'll, we'll have to save it for our ape core symposium. Yes, we'll get, yes, we'll, 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 I'll be able to dig into the weeds a little more, uh, by the season finale and, and I'll get some more answers about kind of where the ape imagery and pop culture stems from. But, uh, but yes, as far as movies go, I mean, it's, it's, 
Murders in the Rue Morgue and this in 1932, but 1932 itself was just a big year for horror movies. There were at least eight that I know of that are, you know, including this, that are, you know, all the other ones are pretty wild. And so we're going to see the trailers for those during the breaks tonight. Uh, we're going to start uh, with the trailers for The Mummy uh, from Universal, which stars Boris Karloff as the titular mummy. And uh, we're also going to see the trailer for White Zombie starring Bela Lugosi, which we have seen on this show. Uh, you can check out that episode on our YouTube page. Plus the sequel. Um, plus the sequel, Revolt of the Zombies, starring Bela Lugosi's eyes. Um, a still <laughs> photograph of Bela Lugosi's eyes. Uh, but yeah, uh, so those were kind of those were two of the movies that uh, also came out in 1932, and these two in particular kind of deal with the living dead. So. They're they're fun. They're fun, and you can find. Uh, I know you can find the mummy. I don't know. Oh yeah, you can find the mummy, and you can definitely find white zombie everywhere. But uh, the mummy is on Tubi right now. So um, if you enjoy the trailer, you can go watch the mummy on Tubi. But um, check out these trailers, and then when we come back, we're gonna get into the exciting middle of the monster walks. Death, eternal punishment for anyone who opens this casket. The mummy. Is it dead or alive? Human or inhuman? You'll know. You'll see. You'll feel the awful, creeping, crawling terror that stands your hair on end and brings a scream to your lips. <coughs> There's nothing on earth like the mummy. You will not remember what I show you now, and yet I shall awaken memories of love and crime and death. Now I know his horrible plan. He is going to kill her and make her a living mummy like himself. of the undead damned. The sinister power behind the white zombie. Zombies? Yes. They are my servants. This soul killer takes men from their graves to be his slaves. His instruments of terror, and now this fiend plots to possess a woman. I saw them bury her. Captive in the borderland between life and death. 
Her brain drained of the life spark. The white zombie obeys the unholy commands of her demon master. As mindless creatures carry out his cursed will, terror explodes in horror and heartquake. Zombie! 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 Never eyes so evil, never powers so potent, never magic so black, Bela Dracula Lugosi, as the master of the white zombie. Sir. And we are back. Yeah, so uh, White Zombie is <laughs> full of those. If you love close-up shots of Bela Lugosi like getting right up to his eyes, then you need to go see. Go watch our episode of White Zombie. Uh, you can find that on 2B2. But white... You like disembodied eyes. Right, and you if you want his eyes, you can go watch Revolt of the Zombies. But, um, but no, it's funny. It's... He was credited for a good time after Dracula as Bela Dracula Lugosi, you know, whereas Karloff literally was just credited as Karloff Um, for whatever reason for for Lugosi was Bela Dracula Lugosi. And I don't know why. I don't know why he didn't get the Lugosi's, you know, just as a weird name as Karloff, but. Oh, who knows? Was was Frankenstein like like, like bigger? Like, like, did it get a bigger reception than Dracula? Yeah, I mean, I think it. I think it's. I think at the time it was considered a better film. And I, I, it is a better film. Uh, you know, Todd Browning, the director, kind of phoned it in a little bit, um, and James Whale just did such an like outstanding job on Frankenstein and it, yeah, yeah I, mean, I mean Dracula was like came out I think around Valentine's Day 31 and then Frankenstein came out more around like Christmas mm. and so it was like kind of two ends of the year and so it was like once Frankenstein you know Frankenstein I guess from 31 into 32 was just huge money maker so everybody starts cranking out horror movies and you know we'll talk more about kind of what the other studios were doing but universal i mean they were leading the pack they made three they made the mummy murders in the room morgue and the old dark house which we don't have a trailer for i wish we did but the old dark house is again it's 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 almost a parody of all the tropes it's it's that's the thing even by 1932 People are already kind of making fun of the genre of a dark and stormy night and a house full of weird people and strange things are happening. I mean, the genre, that's the thing. So for this movie to try to bring in the killer ape thing to enliven things up, I feel like it, the genre, the subgenre is already here. It's, it's, been, it's been one year and this uh, genre is already stale. It was it was worn out. They're like, all right, we got to we gotta enliven this up. We mix this up. And I was literally right before, uh, you know, before I started getting ready for the show tonight, I was watching The Old Dark House. And that's just, uh, that was also directed by the same guy who did Frankenstein. It was, you know, the net, I don't know if it was the next movie he did after Frankenstein, but he did it the next year. And it's just a hilarious, but also kind of, it, there's some scary moments in it as well. And it's it's a movie that still holds up. Um, and I think you can see some similar tropes here, but it's, again, it's the same year. Uh but Universal had three, you know, three of the eight horror movies that, that I think it was eight that came out that year. So, uh, and then this one is indie. You know, this is one of the few indep- independent movies of of the time. You know, How does an independent film uh, lock down a chimpanzee? 
That is a great question. Someone's got a. Somebody someone's got the a, connection at the zoo. A, a chimpanzee connect, somehow, some way. I don't know who, but they leveraged that pretty well. And uh, you know, I mean, it seems well trained. You know, it's not a. Well, as long as it's in the cage. As long as it's in the cage, but who knows? Maybe we'll get to see it break out here. Um, any bets? Yes, think, think it will? will. Think, think, uh, think think we're going to get a little bit of uh, ape action? He's going to start, start prowling, prowling around the house, hopefully? No. I think he's just, no. no. just going to be in the cage for the whole movie. That's, that's an astute, astute observation, observation, Evan. How, How could he get out? Hey, Fresh Rogan. Yes, yes he is really walking, walking, though. He really be walking. walking. Hopefully, hopefully, we hope. I hope yeah, he's hopefully this monster walks. Because you might as well call it the monster in the cage for the whole movie in the basement. Um Ape in the basement in the cage. Uh, cage ape. Cage ape. Cage ape. Yeah, there we go. That's fun. Uh, yeah. So I think we're going to get into the exciting middle of The Monster Walks right now. It ain't fair. It ain't fair. Not a penny. It ain't fair. We have been still for so long. And now we get scratched thrown at us by strangers. It wasn't him. He was a good man. Did we ever figure well, out how much the back. Now there's was. money to be had. We who have stayed in work get nothing. Wait, No, uh, we did not get the inflation do, calculator out during I the break. Well, that you are mad. We should have, but we didn't. Now carry him upstairs. I couldn't now. be in a living room with that, like that, with that moose head staring down at me the whole time. I'm coming with you, Uncle. You know. Great place to spy on people, though. Right. You just remove one of the mooses. No, if you don't mind, I think I'll stay here and chat with Mr. Wilkes. Do you think the rest of the moose is on the other side of the chimney? Yes. Yes, I do. How big is it to be to get the rest of the moose on the other side of that wall? That yoga man sure is mad about stuff. If he's going to yodel all night, ain't nobody going to sleep. And I will go through my brother's room. I have had my bed moved to the room next to his, so we could spend these last few hours together. Yes, to fresh. Room, thank, thank you. Yeah, man. I appreciate it. Appreciate you hopping in, man. Love you too, bro. Keep doing your thing, man. Fresh is fresh is taking care of business tonight. We didn't acknowledge, obviously, Fresh is not with us. He's taking care of business, but he'll be back. Uh, he'll be back next time. Um, hell yeah, Fresh. Thanks for thanks for popping in, man. That's awesome. Cheers to you, Fresh. If I only had a daughter now to be always near me. I I shall always want to be near you, Uncle. <laughs> you are so much like Daddy that it will keep his memory fresh and dear to me. I mean, you all everybody's everybody. delivery sounds so kind of weird. I think mean, that's why well, you can tell most of these people had long careers in silent movies and then this is like the last movie for a lot of them. Except the guy who's like squatting down right now, Misha Auer, who basically became a star like four years after this and then got a lot of supporting roles. Nominated for an Academy Award. What did he star in? Uh, well, supporting. So he wasn't even starring, but he was in... Um, he was in a movie called My Man Godfrey, which was some it's some screwball comedy, but he was nominated for Best Supporting Actor. My Act. Man Godfrey. He played a lot of like Damn crazy, usually European characters. Why don't you tell you hate he was Russian. Why don't you tell and, you want um, the money more than He Jesus. acted all the way up to the late 1960s. You're all liars. Hmm. A remarkable woman, Mrs. Krogan. She's been here for nearly 20 years. Her devotion to the brothers was almost her religion. He's in a Abbott Costello and, uh, movie that Hans. Job and I really like Did called, called That son? Ghost. Yes. He's, he was a baby when he, he came. He plays this. a snooty I uh, believe he comes of a very good family. And, uh, but she gave up everything to come to America. Fancy nightclub. They're Germans, aren't they? Yes. So are the Earthens. I think there's some sort of a distant relationship. 
There's a large fortune involved, isn't there? Considerable. Enough to almost burden a young woman like Ruth. I believe she understood the provision of the will. The estate is hers unconditionally. Her father intimated as much. Well, fortunately, there are no other direct heirs. You know, wills are always open to contests, Doctor. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. And a large fortune is always a temptation, Mr. Wilkes. It's all going yes, to, the, to the chill. It seems like he's well, just inviting. Yeah, it's a, I decided to leave all my money to the chill. Yeah, they find a new will. And that's Good night. Good night. Uh, oh, no, we, sh we shouldn't have found this will. He was clearly out of his mind. Hitting his jewel. <laughs> <laughs> I'll attend to your car and drive it there. Thank you, Hans. Good night, dear. Oh. Mr. Ruth wishes to speak to you before you retire. Thank you. Good night, Dr. Clayton. <laughs> Good night, Mrs. Crew. Good night, Doctor. <laughs> Her, like, other big role was as a housekeeper in a silent movie called The Cat and the Canary, which, again, old dark house murder mystery film <laughs> based off, uh, kind of, a, again, a play that was a knockoff of The Bat, and then... It was made to a movie a bunch of times. To Something horrible. Oh! 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 <laughs> just some fancy lady. A print of some fancy lady. I was always getting lost in. That's well. That's the first smile I've seen today. Now it's time little girls like you should be in bed. And I could do with some sleep myself. Like all these men in infant infantilized. You're going to have to take something to your nerves, young lady. It's all right, it's, doctor. It's sad. It's, Did I take an apple a day? Apples if you watch these old movies, it's par done. for the course, though. Good night, dear. Good night, sweet. I don't know, is it just me or does he seem like he's up to something? His eyebrows are up to something. <laughs> Okay, if somebody doesn't take the eyes out of that painting behind him and start looking <laughs> through it, it's a real opportunity missed. It's really comfortable. It Gotta was... bring back robes, man, and sit in rooms and a little brandy before bedtime. Well, you know, I, I love a good house robe, but I don't usually wear a tie and vest underneath it. Oh, well, you don't get dressed to the night before you <laughs> take your nightcap? I wasn't thinking of their money. director of this was a guy named uh, Frank Strayer who had did he did a murder mystery like right before this and then this was his first horror movie and he ended up doing two more one the year after this and then another one two years later and they're both you know 
One I can attest to. I've seen many times. I I love it. I think it's very unique. Uh, this one I haven't seen as much. So, but you know, some interesting touches so far, but nothing. You know, they're really going for the full twelve. <laughs> the full <laughs> twelve. We're gonna see the whole thing. Shit starts happening after midnight. Oh! oh! Nice. Hell yeah. Here we go. A little moving camera action. Yeah, you don't get a ton of that uh. back then. Whoa. Ugh. Ugh. This is kind of like a cat in the canary kind of thing. This is a thing they do in that movie a lot. <laughs> well, that was good. I mean, you know, that's probably how it would sound that far away. I feel like a lot of movies, they make the scream so loud. Ruth, open the door! Like, what happened? What's the matter? Well, I just heard Ruth scream. Ruth! Open the door, Ruth! What was that? Someone, come to me. Someone, get me out of bed. Will, what is it? What has happened? Oh, be calm, Robert, be calm. It, it was my niece. I heard a scream. What is it? Oh, oh Dad! Dad! Dad. Oh, what happened, Ruth? What's the matter? Oh, my God. Oh. What is it? What's wrong? Oh, Dad, take me away. Take me away. Yes, dear. Now calm yourself and tell me Time exactly to go what to the hotel. Oh, it was the eighth yogi. When I awakened, his arm was above me and he was clutching up my throat. Yeah, oh, that would have been a different oh, show, right? Yogi Ape instead of Yogi Bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, the park would not have been safe. Well, it's not safe with a bear roaming around either, I guess. Yeah, dear, dear. Well, you were just nervous and especially when uh, that bear is such oh, a thief. I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid. All he wants is everybody's food. She is terrorized. She said that awful brute was in her room. No, no, no. He couldn't possibly escape. Rouse hands, send him to the cage, and tell him to bring Ruth here to me. Yes. <laughs> I'm the kingmaker. I do all my business from bed. Basement, bro. I feel like this is not going to end well. Have has that animal been out of its cage? No, sir. The lock hasn't been touched, and everything is the way I left it. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> One of these guys just has really hairy arms. <laughs> right. You, the, that's we're waiting for that's the moment where somebody's sleeve gets lifted no, up or great. cut off. <laughs> I bet he's down there giving that yoga man a pill. God, it's fucking carpet, bro. That's <laughs> insane. Like, is it a polar bear? It looks like a polar bear. Who has a polar bear rug? Whoa. That would just oh, seem like yoga. a Chekhov's gun. He was gonna trip yoga over time. it all along. Yeah. Don't bite on this time, it's yoga. See, this is the kind, this is the kind of stuff nonsense? that is often, What'd you say, Yogi? You know, looked upon as bad stereotypes. Doggone, I thought that was Mr. Yoga had over me. Go to your room. Yeah, that's why I'm going as far away from here. That's all right, you need to show me I'm going in there. fastened in his cage. I have just come from there. Did you find anything, Doctor? Nothing. I've carefully examined your room, dear, and there's no evidence of anyone having been there. 
My little girl was having a nightmare. Your wrath up. See, Your nerves yeah. were playing you tricks. She is a real. woman. Come on. I can't believe I was dreaming. Dreams always seem real, dear. Now, what could <laughs> possibly harm you in the room where you have slept since you were a child? I'm an awful baby. I've disturbed and frightened you all. You let your doctor give you something to soothe your nerves and have Mrs. Crew put you back to bed. I'm awfully sorry. Good night. <laughs> well, I must confess, Robert, it gave me an awful jolt. Ruth was always emotional, even as a child. <laughs> oh, Ted, I can't. The impression was too vivid. Hey, I'm just going to send her back to her room. room. Just, you're fine. Just sleep it off. Get and back in I better there. take it to the end. You got nothing to worry there, about. There, there, dear. Tante Krug will stay with you just like she used to do when you were a little girl. Will you, Tante? So oh, everybody is inf infantilizing this young woman. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically this poor lady. I'll be all right with that. Yeah, she's hopefully ends with her standing up for herself, shot. telling these people I'll get something she doesn't that will help you sleep. Treat her like a baby. Giving her a tranquilizer. <laughs> Holy shit. Drink this stuff before you go to bed. After it's dissolved. Thanks, dear. Perhaps I won't need it. I'll Maybe sit up for a while to make sure you're awesome. all right. Thanks. It's Good just night. a placebo. Night, <laughs> it's just some low grade acid. Now compose yourself, Robert, and try to get some sleep. That's what I would do. Well, I couldn't go to sleep right now. Hang out in the drawing room, play solitaire, drink a bunch of alcohol, wait the night out. Come on. Well, I'll sleep on the couch. Yeah, there you go. Jewel on the mantle. Should I keep it? <laughs> uh, Mr. Wilkes. Uh, just where were you when Ruth screamed? When well, I was here, smoking my cigar. I must have dozed off. When I heard the scream, I rushed upstairs immediately. And you stopped by Robert's room? Why, yes. Her scream had awakened him also. And Hans was at the foot of the stairs, and he went to the cellar with you. Yes. The ape was in his cage, and the chain was securely fastened. But I'm convinced the truth was dreaming. She's just nervous. What does that cigar tell him? Why is he? I just don't. Ruth tells me this is quite an old house. Yes, it is. Free cigar. It has Free a lot of cigar. secret passageways in it. You know anything about them? No. But Hans might know. Hans. I'd like to talk to him. Well, his room is next to the kitchen. I'll go and get him. <laughs> I 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want this anymore. It's like, uh, this, this is obviously isn't leading anywhere. <laughs> Sad violin, sad, the world's saddest violin. <laughs> Practicing just inside his apartment. Whoa. That was creepy. Yes, sir. Dr. Clayton wishes to speak to you. And that is going to take us to our second break. What's so, gonna happen? What is going to happen? What is happening? What, what is happening? I don't know. Uh, it's obviously uh, something's walking. Something's walking. We saw a hand, so that was um, that's the biggest thing so far. <laughs> saw a hairy hand. Yeah, go uh, through the... fewer bodies in this one. Mm, yes, yeah, just certainly. the one, I guess, if you want to count. He was already he was dead all... before the movie even started. Um, he was he was like this when we found him, we swear. So the bodies aren't necessarily piling up here, but it's, you know, it's... Uh, it feels like it's building towards it's something. building to something, certainly something. I mean, at this point, though, I mean, we are... <laughs> We're two thirds of the way through the movie, so I mean, something needs to happen. To something, I don't know. I mean, it's you, th- you think about all the movies we've seen up to now, and you think about where some of them have gotten <laughs> by the time we get two thirds of the way through, and you look at where we are with this, and you're like, okay, like not a lot is really happening. Yeah, not you know? not, not uh, a lot going on. Not a lot going on. Um, you know, interest some a little bit of atmosphere, but um outside of that, it's, you know, kind of a slow indie horror movie from 1932. Yeah. So, it's, so and just to recap, so they've they've all gathered for the will. They've read the will. And the uh, would you call them servants? I guess yes. we're not happy. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. surprised they got any money. Yeah, but... they, yeah, they should be happy they got anything. <laughs> he thought about them as people at all. <laughs> they got something, but yes. Yeah, so they're basically just all trying to go to sleep after that, and make it through the night. But something's she, on the loose. Some she saw. She is, you know pretty sure she saw something everybody else wants to talk her out of it say oh you're just being a woman you know you're being a little baby woman like that's what they're they're really trying to say they're being as condescending as they possibly can to to this woman they're not treating her like an adult at all and so i mean it's just 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 bound to end up the victim at some point but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Maybe she'll fight back. One can only hope. But yeah, I mean, that's literally it. She saw something. They are trying to all settle back down and figure out what happened. And that's that's the movie so far. <laughs> the story so far. Well, we'll see. Well, we will see. Uh, yeah, certainly... <sighs> You know, it was in the way of plot, not not as much as again. <laughs> he had eight other horror movies, prominent like horror movies that came out in 1932, and some of them have so much going on. It's it's insane when you compare them. Um, you you have. I mean, again, we talked about it in the last break. You had Universal. You also had other studios who were like, okay, let's make a horror movie. Let's get on in on the game. So uh, Warner Brothers tried to get in on the game, and they did a movie called Dr. X, which is really crazy. It's the first trailer that we're going to see, and it is just a, he's a wild kind of mad scientist movie and there's also some old dark house elements and some you know it's there's some cannibalism involved it's a wild movie um excellent it is excellent and then 
Paramount did a film called uh, Island of Lost Souls, which is based on the H.G. Wells story, Island of Dr. Moreau. And then um, MGM did Freaks, which uh, was directed by the same guy who did Dracula, Todd Browning. And if you know you haven't seen Freaks, it's just a, it's an insane movie about his... Uh, a circus freak show and um it's it's the all of those movies are still shocking um but uh we're gonna see the trailer for dr x and for island of lost souls there is no trailer for uh freaks otherwise i would definitely show that so just um, use your imagination cause, yeah because freaks is a crazy movie but um, so is Dr. X and so is, is I mean, I haven't seen Island of Lost Souls like from beginning to end, like really, but I have seen uh, Dr. X a lot and it still holds up. It's a wild movie. Definitely both movies are good examples of pre-code horror. And um, so we're going to see those two trailers and then when we come back, we're going to get into the exciting conclusion of the monster walks so stick around we'll be right back all right i agree to lay off for 48 hours but I give you my word, if you don't succeed, I'll come in here, seal every door, place everybody under technical arrest, take fingerprints, conduct a rigid inspection. I don't care if the whole world knows it. There have been six murders committed all in the same circumstances. The evidence points here. Another one! If you only knew the things that have happened. Are you worried about your father? Yes, I am. Terribly. Oh, the only thing I'm concerned about is your safety. Say, what's the matter with you? What's the matter with me? Nothing at all. Only all last night I lay down with a bunch of stiffs. Look, a lot of goofy guys. Let a dame poke a gun in my stomach, and then I take a trick cigar from a dumb policeman. It is my theory that one of us in the past, from dire necessity, was driven to cannibalism. The memory of that act was hammered like a nail into the mind of that man. Shrewd and brilliant. He could conceal his madness from the human eye, even from himself, but he can't conceal it from the eyes of the radio sensitivity. on this table isn't human. Its cries are human. You know what it is, what I began with? No. An animal. Well, we may as well discuss this frankly, now that you know the fact. I wanted to prove how completely she was a human. <laughs> Get everything ready. For oh, what? This time I'll burn out all the animal and I'll... <laughs> I'll make her completely human. No, no. 
And we are back. So, I mean, both of those movies still today, I think, are pretty wild. Um, I mean, again, Dr. X, that trailer we saw is in black and white, but the movie's actually in color. Um, it's one of the first color horror movies. And it is, um, there was just recently a restoration of it, and it looks amazing. I mean, it's, I mean, it is a really... The set design, there's so much about that movie that is really cool. And it's modern for, like, it takes place within the time period that it was made. So there's something kind of interesting about that. Um, again, Island of the Lost Souls, I haven't seen as much, but I know that Charles Lawton, the guy who plays the mad scientist in that, he was also in Old Dark House the same year. Uh, you know, a lot of these actors were in multiple horror movies in this year. Like, Karloff was in also in Old Dark House, and he was in The Mummy. Lugosi was in White Zombie and in, um, in, uh, oh, fuck, uh, Rue Morgue. That's it. There it is. Um, there it is. So, <laughs> so I mean, there's really, you know, like it's it's kind of crazy how much these guys were working, um, and you know, especially these movies that came out of the studios, they're they're considered pretty quality. Um, so it, it's just crazy that those guys were churning out classics, you know, back to back to back. Um, unfortunately. <laughs> So far, what we've seen is when I'd say this movie's a classic. <laughs> uh, no, I would not. Um, a sweet feet horror movie. Thank you, thank you, sir. Um, yes, we're we're hopefully we get a little more horror here in the um, in the exciting conclusion of the monster walks. Hopefully, this uh, chimp crank uh, up the spook factor takes a victim or two. Yeah, let's yeah. let's get things going. So. Um, you know, you think we'll get any more dead bodies, Evan? What do you think? What are we betting? One, two, zero. What do you think? How many faces uh, ripped off? How many faces? Yeah, we tally that up. What are you thinking in the end? How many faces? Uh, how many? How many characters do we have? Not many. Not many. <laughs> Not, many. So. <laughs> Not yeah. If, if there are going to be bodies, there's certainly not too many options. Maybe, uh, maybe the lawyer. I think that's a, it's a pretty good, um, pretty good candidate. So we'll see. We're, yeah. We'll see. Hopefully somebody kicks the bucket. Somebody eats it. Um, anything before we get into it, Evan? All right, then we're gonna get into the exciting conclusion of the monster walks right now. <laughs> So are we going to watch the sequel, The Monster Talks? Well, talk to me. Yeah, yes, man. and then, um, I'm ask you, some questions. you know, yep. uh, uh, that one, not only case. does he talk, but he also raps. Down. So. Well, you can't get out, sir. I locked the cage Great. myself. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. awesome. <laughs> I, I love 1930s rap. Yeah, he's just skipping around and doing a jitterbug and a little bit of Charles. Has Yogi ever escaped from his cage? Well, sometimes when I used to lock him up for the night, he'd suddenly appear in the doctor's or Mr. Roberts' room. They'd only laugh and say he could pick the lock. That's why I put the chain on the door. This doctor's over here acting like he's some kind of detective. <laughs> who, who does this doctor right. think he is? Me go. It's me, detective, detective house robe. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Detective house robe and um, assisted by his trusty pocket square. Are you sure? The world's coziest detective. <laughs> Ruth is not the type of historical woman that's given. Oh, okay, let's solve this mystery. I'm getting kind of sleepy. Oh, anybody else need to feel a nightcap? I still can't believe she was dreaming. Uh, 
I think so much better when I have a glass of liquor in my hand. Are they doing that because they, they don't have someone who can play the violin? Why hadn't he gone to bed? Yes. If you gotta have some kind of lullaby, you gotta have something going. Before you heard the scream, no radio. He heard some sort of slight shuffling noise coming from the cellar, and he went down there to investigate. Not only is he the I guess because he's the comfiest detective, it also makes him the slowest detective because I feel like he's just running over the same points that he's already established. Over a year. Nevertheless, I'm worried. I'd like to talk to Robert. Just like a doctor. You know, circle around the problem about 20 times before he makes an accurate assessment. Those doctors always you talking. Know those doctors. Yeah. <laughs> mm. uh. Uh. Uh oh. Oh shit! I didn't. I did not suspect. Uh. <laughs> She's really selling it with the eyes. Did they check behind the bed? No. In, ne in neither case did they check behind the bed. Uh, these curtains, don't, there's nothing behind them, right? Just, just drywall, right? Okay, sweet. Oh, shit. Can't be Can't be. And he dead. Shh, he dead. Dead body in the other room. He's been strangled to death. She's just a delicate little baby. She can't handle all of this excitement. There must be a secret entrance to this room. Someone has made a second desperate attempt on Ruth's life. Mrs. Krug was not the intended victim. Bum bum bum. You're probably wrong. Doctor detective. Doctor detective over here. Cop doctor. Cop doctor. He's doing a terrible job. Who, who could have done this? Let's see. Robert was in his room. <laughs> yes, but we know where Hans was. This is like the most like, passage to the eighth like I don't think it was the eighth. Half-ass half mystery. mystery. Like, I'm trying to think of the proper word for it. I guess it's just so. But what motive could any body have for wanting to murder Ruth? Robert is the only one who would profit by it. Yes, and we know he was in his bed ourselves. Besides, he's a hopeless paralytic. Dead. So like Colonel Mustard and Blue, right, like Tell me guess is trying to guess it. So whoever <laughs> knew <laughs> that she was lying there with those horrible like, marks on her throat. Well, didn't you hear anything? I didn't hear or see anything. Oh, Dad, take me away. Take Uncle Robert's bell. I'll go join. Thank God you got a bell. Don't tell him. The shock would kill him. All right. I won't tell him a thing. I 
I, I thought I heard something. That anything happened. Well, it's like you guys got a headboard. I was about to retire when I heard you tell. Is there anything I can do for you? Nothing, thank you. Well, you seem disturbed. Are you ill? This has been a very severe ordeal for me, Doctor. I haven't uh -oh. seen that guy's arms. Uh oh. Hmm. Ruth. Are you all right, Uncle Robert? Yes, dear. Come in. <laughs> Something disturbed me. And I rang for Mrs. Krug. The doctor answered. Your uncle is uh, exhausted. I'll get him a sedative. No, thank you. Yes, yes give us I thought I heard something, and I was a bit worried about your safety. No, I'm all right, dear. All right, doctor, what's your plan? Well, doctor, did you learn anything? Yes. Robert did not know of Mrs. Krug's death. I was taking his pulse when Ruth entered the room unexpectedly, and it stopped completely for several beats. There can be no possible connection. Why, the man is a helpless terrorist. I'm not so sure. I want to find that out for myself. Just takes the knife. Just Would you be so kind to take Ruth down? Certainly. Thank you. It's late, dear. You'd better try and get some rest. And you'd better go to bed, too, Ruth. So I'll take care of you. Ruth is the, the main oh, yes. beneficiary of the will, yes. right? Yes, yes. Good night, dear. Ruth has told me of your case. I'm very interested. Medical science can't help me, doctor. Nevertheless, if you would permit me, I should like to make an examination. Very well. See for yourself. Yep, look at these legs. <laughs> look at these very, um, very thin, Atrophy thin legs. limbs that I call legs. What is it? <laughs> Moving like a trained ballerina. I think he might have been trained in dance or something. I don't know. I could be wrong about that. He, he certainly, certainly played, played a dance, dance instructor once. I know that for a fact. of these black dots now that you've uh, pointed those out. Yeah. How many reels does it take to play a sing This isn't even that long of a movie. No, it isn't. Maybe they're like 10, 11 minutes here. I have to, it does seem like more than normal. I will have my revenge. <laughs> yep, he looks ready for revenge. Frankenstein. Frankenstein's monster. He, he could have played Frankenstein's monster. Yeah. He's not a... Maybe young, young Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Wouldn't have necessarily been a bad part. Like, like young, young Frankenstein, Frankenstein by way of... Oh, oh, oh. By oh, way of... Yeah. You have failed again. She's put her bed. I was sure it was the girl. Instead, it was my mother I killed. Do you understand my mother? Emma? Dead? 
You put the idea in my head because you wanted the money. You told me when the girl was out of the way, you would acknowledge me as your son. And we'd both be rich. Oh, this guy's got daddy issues. Holy shit. Mouth. Okay. Why didn't you tell him I was your son? And now mother is dead. Illegitimate son. It's all your fault, you shrunken devil. And yours and a girl. And I'm gonna kill you both. Uh, with uh, these uh, hands. Uh, Slowly. I was wrong, Mr. Wilkes. Utterly impossible for Robert to ever walk again. Why, Ted, what do you mean? Ruth, you must realize that the attack made on Mrs. Krug was obviously meant for you. But who would want to harm me? She didn't make you sound. There's only one possible solution. The yeah. ape. Yogi. Oh, Ted, if he is loose, he will kill me. Oh. Mr. Wilkes, will you see if Yogi's in his cage, please? <laughs> yes, yes. Wow, what a stooge. Oh, my God, you idiot. And it was Yogi's arm that I saw. I wasn't doing Yeah, dead. sure, I'll go. I'm not sure yet, dear. No problem. Oh, Ted, take me away. Here, have you got a revolver in your car? No, sir, I got it right here. So if Yoga Smart. messes on me, I'm going to blow a whole rat through his pole. Cool. Cool. Come along with me. Oh, you he's home. ready to go. No, sir. Not me. I wouldn't go down there with President Hoover. Not that he's a better man than you. But the <laughs> position he holds. Sure. Give me that gun. Well, that's going to be another day, man. This whole world is just crashing down right now. Yeah, this guy's probably not in the best state of mind. He no, securely fastened in his cage. Pure psycho. Someone else Having just town. accidentally killed yeah, his own mother. The first thing I'm going to do is get mother, you out of here immediately. Purposely killed his Exodus? father. What is yes. Shakespeare? Bring the car around front as quickly as possible. You can't be too quick for me, boss. Don't you worry, dear. Oh, hey, we got some bodies. Doctor, Dr. Uh, We've got the monster. Wait. He's walking. He's a walking. Want? Something terrible happened to Mr. Robert. Dead. Go to him. I'm all right with him. Something oh. terrible happened to him. Me. Huh. Come on, Will. With these hands. These hands. And with these feet, and I walk. What is it? <laughs> uh oh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> is he dead, Doctor? No, oh, he's yeah. still breathing. What? Uh -huh. He's just, he's playing. He just needs some water. <laughs> I'll just revive him with this water. If that was a real doctor, he'd be punching him in the heart. <laughs> now, is that an actor in a suit, or is that was that an actual? Because that right thing now. was grabbing at her. Take Ruth away. Ruth safe? Who was it? I am the guilty one. <laughs> I, I forced him to do it. Him? Who do you mean? He is my son. Hans. Bump Hans. Hmm? Ruth! <laughs> I can't run as fast as you. Slow down. Got her. See, I can't tell if it's a real one or it's a person in a suit. 
I don't know. It looks pretty it's real. It's hard to tell behind the bars. Yeah. It, they no. did earlier, but no. I can tell it's a different one. No. <laughs> Doctor. <laughs> He's Ferris Buellering this what? situation. How did he do that? Wait, how did Wait, he do how that? Did, they, they, they just did, completely brushed over that. They, yeah, completely glossed over that. It must have been some kind of Ferris Bueller type situation, <laughs> but I'm not sure how that works. <laughs> That's a real. Yeah, that's a real. That's CGI. Uh oh. Uh, oh no. Is Yogi gonna save the day? No. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Constitution cannot handle. <laughs> you gotta love the cross eyed death. Yeah. <laughs> it's just all the whole wall. <laughs> gotta love it when you shake the set a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's when you know they're really putting a lot of gusto into the scene. So I guess the, that guy just literally had some really hairy arms. Maybe some kind of glove? Put on my chimp glove. Excuse me, boss. I want to down one of them things around the house. Well, Dr. Elton was an exponent of the Darwinian theory. Huh? He believed that they were our ancestors. You mean that he's related to me? Exactly. That looks something like him, but he wasn't as active. Uh, that's it. That's the end. Uh, it's a little bit of a yikes. Yeesh. 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 So, Yeesh. that was The Monster Walks. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I think Yeesh sums it up pretty well. I mean, it's not bad it, it was interesting you get two it, it, murders kind of back to back yeah the chimp ends up being kind of a red herring and then yes. also saves the day kind of yeah pretty much to an yeah. extent kind of, you know i don't actually understand how i guess like he just strangled him until... I, I guess he he well he he was he, he had pulled him in because he was stuck to the, uh, to the whip then, okay that was just a ridiculous death scene on yeah. his part. Cross. It's a shitty. Eyes, it's like it's a shitty way to go. Sad way to go, but again, you 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 try to mess with an animal like it's a trained, you know, try like you can tame it. It's, just go watch Nope. If you haven't yeah, seen Nope, go see Nope. Yeah, we're steering right back we're towards. We're not me. gonna. I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but uh, but yeah, I mean, again, it. it concept wise it takes some interesting like genre tropes and it combines some things together but on the whole it was it's kind of a it's not really a lot going on in the movie no um, not really not really um the I, I mean i don't even know if you'd really call it the twist like the the motive seemed pretty obvious. Mm. That uh, money. Yeah, money. It's always money, isn't the, it? The girl was the 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 main beneficiary, so obviously someone else is gonna get jealous and kill her. She's the target. They want to take her down and get the money. It's a pretty like again, and I think it also doesn't just come out of. Um, 
it doesn't just come out of like horror movies but i think it also comes out of like gothic literature as well that whole tradition of you inherit you know you inherit some ancestral estate you inherit some kind of long lost uncle's well yeah this is kind of a scooby-doo plot certainly so yeah i mean yeah I mean, again, like you're saying, it was kind of obvious. It wasn't really like, you know, they didn't give you a lot of uh, <laughs> bad guys to choose from. And it's, you know, pretty, at the end of the day, you're like, all right, I figured it was, you know, that makes sense. It's, not, you know, nothing surprising. And, but, you know, Chimp was a red herring. Yeah. So and also uh, never got out of the cage. So I guess I, I, I did predict that. Ah, you said he was never going to leave the cage. Yeah. Ah, well, uh, and then you went a whopping $5. Woo! Uh, woo! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it, yeah, he didn't. I guess they, they couldn't chance it. Not not that well trained. Um, he grabbed at that woman one time pretty aggressively. So, that, yeah. Well, they, sure they jo- dodged a bullet, honestly. <laughs> And they said, cut. That's, That's the, the next scene. scene. You strangle the other I'm one. Not supposed to, you're not supposed to grab for her yet. You're supposed to... That's that's two takes from now. Need Actors. A, no, need to get a better animal trainer here. Can't afford one. I mean, again, you know, it's... <laughs> it is... An indie film. And this... Um, you know, again, does all the other movies that we've talked about tonight that came out in 1932, those are studio films. I think White Zombie was indie, but it was released by what at that time was a major studio, United Artists. But, um, you know, this was, you know, one of the few independent films to come out of that time. And you, you can kind of see when you have limited budget and not a great script and you're just kind of trying to rush something out you kind of see the product of that but um but frank strayer the director of this went on to make two more um horror movies in the 1930s uh which are both public domain and one he made the year after this called the vampire bat which is it's a great movie it's a lot of fun i'm excited to show that um i don't know when that's coming up uh, he did another movie called Condemned to Live, which is a, it's 1935. And that also has Misha Auer, who ended up being the killer tonight. He plays a kind of, I don't know if he plays the killer in that movie, but he plays a, he plays like a servant, like a hunchbacked, like servant. So you Kind know, of almost like what he was tonight. Sim- very similar. So it's, you know... It's kind of funny the way that the, the, tonight's director, he was very much kind of an indie guy and he reused a lot of the same cast and crew. And his those other two horror films are pretty... He did another movie called The Ghost Walks, which is not a sequel to this. But, uh, but apparently that's supposed to be, I think, better than this. So, uh, and I think it's public domain. So we should watch it. We should, we'll probably get to watch it on the show. And, I mean, you know, there weren't too many indies, like, that were committed to making horror at that time. And so, uh, you know, it's always funny to see how indie filmmaking, like, where its role was in the horror genre over time. And, like, in the 30s, you know, it's, it's very limited, but... In the late 50s, early 60s, it kind of explodes. And you have people like Roger Corman. And uh, speaking of, uh, that's going to be the next film that we watch. Sounds uh, like we got a segue. Segue. Uh, so anytime you talk about any filmmaking and horror movies, you got to mention Roger Corman. And uh, our next film is uh, The Wasp Woman which uh, it's from 1959. Fun title, fun movie. Not a comedy. It's not like a lot of his other movies we've seen so far are horror comedies, but this is, um, there's funny bits, but it's meant to be a little more serious. Um, 
than Bucket of Blood or Creature from Haunted Sea. But it's a, it's a fun movie. It's good. It's, you know, again, you're dealing with a monster and... Um, but it's a modern, it's kind of a modern concept, which is really interesting. And um, I don't know if that'll be next week. Um, we might take a break next week because I know uh, Evan's, Evan's got business to attend to um, as well. Uh, Fresh had business tonight. Uh, Evan's got business. And um, I still got to figure out with our schedule, you know, we can take a week off that way our season finale gets us to the last weekend in or the last friday in october mm. you know which we can do some kind of special for the last friday in october but i don't know we're gonna we're gonna get that figured out so i'm hesitant to say that we're gonna be seeing the wasp woman next friday but you know who knows we'll get that worked out but the next film that we we will be watching on the scream stream is the wasp woman so stay tuned for that um you can catch us on wednesday for the scream stream minisodes going to be watching another exciting episode of the veil <laughs> we love them you can tell that i we had a pause them. there but you know i did that more for fresh's benefit even though he's not here right now fresh just very much um you know Fresh is not the biggest fan of the veil, and it's you know I I can understand why I don't blame him. It's understandable. Not... It's understandable. It's not the most exciting. I don't think Fresh would have enjoyed tonight's film either. Um, but you know it's it's you know it's it's all relative. It could be a really exciting episode next week with the veil. Um, Again, if you like Boris Karloff, if you're a Boris Karloff fan like I am, then it's going to be a lot of fun. Come check it out. Uh, that's going to be Wednesday at 9 p.m. Uh, you can uh, go check out past episodes on our YouTube page. We've got, you know, we're in our third season now, so pretty nice back catalog episodes got the frankenstein day special up you know we're, we're dab like, hands with this now yep we're, you we're know, radio we're veterans old hands and we have uh you know the you know the different cartoons we show at the beginning of each episode we've got little compilations of those that we've been putting up if you've ever just wanted to watch those um so you know go you can go check those out on our youtube page got an instagram got a twitter it's at scream stream show so you can go check out the movie that we're gonna watch uh the next week you can see little fun fun facts things that i post uh memes all kinds of good stuff so uh the drinks that uh evan brings us for what were you drinking although i did loaf this week i i forgot to post the, the drink <laughs> So it's okay. We'll, we'll we'll just do this one again next time. Yeah, we'll just next Abe Cormu. We'll just do Monkey's Paw again. Why not? It was really good. Yes. Yeah, you know. Still waiting on that uh, on the the cruel twist. Right. Yes. Well, we'll see. You know, it's it's. Uh, I think because we just had one, I think we'll be okay. Yeah. I think if we we had two. Then we might have crossed. We're not pushing our luck on the curse. Yeah. We don't want to. We don't want to risk it. We're just take it easy so um you can also contact maybe your local council or maybe your mp maybe if you know um uh minister trusts maybe talk to her see if we can get the succession thing figured out uh I mean, I, I look, I, I know I love it here on the show, but I, I really thought I was next in line. I mean, Evan called dibs. He's been looking forward really to looking for forward a long to this. Time, and I just, uh, and you know, especially, I really thought that uh, the British people were good at queuing, so I'm not very happy with getting cut in front of the line. No, no, apparently they don't respect the rules over there. Um, USA's, USA's number one, uh, you know, R.I.P. Her Majesty, um, God save the Queen, God save the King, you know, all that good stuff. But uh, 
You did call dibs. I mean, Charles was her son, but, uh, you know, I guess dibs got to count for something, right? If not the UK, then where does it count? Where does it count? We'll see. We'll, we'll keep working on that, Evan. We're going we're gonna to try to get you. We're going to make, we're going to hope that our viewers can make a plea to those in charge in the United Kingdom. And, so I can get maybe a fancier chair here in the studio. At the very least, it's the least they could do to honor your your call of dibs. Um, it's the least they could do. So we'll see. Does Evan get a fancier chair next week? Find out. Well, not next week, but... Next time, wait and see. Next time, wait and see. And um, by the off chance that anyone should want to email us, you can also email us <laughs> at screamstreamshow at gmail.com. Um, and then we can forward your messages over to uh, the people in charge of the UK. If you have any, any messages in support of Evan, you can email them to us and then we'll forward them to the proper UK authorities to try to see if we can get this sorted out. Um, but, um, we'll be working away, seeing, um, see if we can rectify this, um, this miscarriage of, of justice. Um, but until then, uh, anything before we uh, sign off, Evan? Get us out of here. All right. Well, until next time, sweet screams, everybody. And to all a good fright.